Hey, welcome back. Uh, we have, you know, uh, two customers here. You can see, and the table Samantha and Abdul Wali, but they have the same IP address because we are working on the local host. So we need to remove one. I will remove Abdul Wali from here. I will delete it. Now we have one uh, user. Now they have no uh, items in the cart. You can observe over here total items zero and price is also zero they log in click login they uh, they you know put their email same gmail.com what is the email let me check same at gmail.com okay and same is the password same they click login you log in successfully and they click they will be taken to their account you can see here this is the picture and these all things now we can show uh, some data or here in this main area for example, we can uh, show something like uh, their name and their name we will get very simply using this same statement C underscore name, we will create a new variable which will be equal to the same row image and we will take the name from the table directly customer underscore name that's it and we will show that here inside the box area we'll simply say uh, in h2 take welcome and here we'll echo that c underscore name welcome that person name will be there and can just check out control is to save come here refresh the page you can see welcome Samantha it's the name of the person can give it a style for example padding 20 pixel and color yellow control is to save check it it's not a good color basically so we can change it to something else that black color is okay we'll remove it welcome Samantha oh, oh. I have actually some mistake over here I also removed this double coat as well so now I have that back welcome Samantha and after this we will set a br tag and we'll say uh, you can the b tag you can see your order your orders progress by clicking this link and this link we will make to that Arab is equal to my underscore account dot php and which will be my underscore orders which we have already given there above control is to save you can see here my underscore account at php my orders is a get variable url variable a dynamic variable which if someone clicks they will will uh, you know show some details some kind of dynamic data I have given that link there I refresh the page again you can see you can see your orders progress by clicking this link when they will click this link so there must be something like uh, I mean something some orders if they have if this user has some orders so we can show we can display those orders in this area and uh, that's it 
but we cannot show orders now because the problem is that uh, we don't have orders basically the orders we will have at that time when we, when we will upload this whole project to online web server and someone will pay via paypal so we can get the all the details we can show here in this table i mean in this place but for now we can work or edit account change password and this delete account so in next video we will come and we'll work on that edit account section with this user stay tuned